Hi everyone, Rich Demetrio here. In this video, we're going to utilize what we've learned earlier, specifically setting up equipment and learning about an observing list, to actually show the steps to navigate to an object in the sky and view all the details, particularly in the eyepiece view. So you notice I've already fired up Sky Safari, and there's a couple things we're going to want to do here. The first thing is we need to go to what's called our scope display and instruct the tool what equipment we're going to use. So you can see here, mine is currently set to a Starmaster O Classic Ethos 21 that gives me a field of view of 2.1. If I wanted to change this, for example, I can click on that and let's say I was going to use my 17 Ethos, you'll notice now that that FOV has changed to 1.7, magnification 58.8. So set up the scope that you want, make sure you have the show even if not connected to the telescope button enabled, otherwise you will not see the details rendered on your screen. So once I have set up that scope display, I now need to go to my observing list. I'm going to pick my Messier Marathon list. And there's also an important option here that you want to set under actions and settings. You want to highlight objects. The reason you want to do that is let's say you're going to be using this list most often, that you expect to observe many objects on this list. By enabling that option, and then when you go back to your main screen, you'll note that there's some other objects already being shown on here, like Andromeda, the pinwheel, little dumbbell. These are all other um, messier objects that you probably recognize. So with that option, set, it will display nearby objects, which means you can click on them to make it easier uh, than going back to your observing list, but more on that later. So now that we've set these options, we'll go, and the other thing it does is you can just click on this button down here that has the little bullet list that takes you back to your observing list. So we'll pick an object. Let's say I want to look at the Pleiades. I can click on that object. I can hit center, and it will navigate me there. Once I've done that, now you can start playing with your field of view options. So the first way is you could just pinch to start bringing it in and notice what we have here, red and blue. The red rings are the tail rad, which I had already set. Um, the outer ring is four degrees, the inner ring is two degrees, the center ring is a half a degree. The blue line is our scope display. So you can see seven inch O classic is this inner blue line that is representing the field of view within the scope and magnification. You have other ways as well besides pinching. You can use these little plus icons or you can use the minus icon. You also, if you look on top here, it gives us the location, it gives us the size of the object, the size of our field of view. And in addition to that, you can click on that upper right and get this little shortcut and these numbers help as well. So if I wanted to look at it from 90 degrees, 45 degrees, all the way down perhaps to my field of view, in this case 1.67, 1.03 if I want even closer, these numbers will all change of course depending on which scope and eyepiece. In addition to that, if your scope has different orientation, a flipped mirror, um, or objects appear upside down, you can click on these orientation options, horizontal, vertical, or both. And then, of course, um, I went ahead and I locked my iPhone screen so I could also turn it so it might reflect how it actually is viewed in my eyepiece. So that is the essence or the core of actually navigating to an object. Once again, to just summarize the steps, first thing, go to scope display. Make sure you've set your scope go to your observing list and pick the observing list that you want. Pick an object to navigate to by doing center object and then use your pinch or your plus and minus or field of view options to narrow and finally remember since the other objects are, on, are appearing you could also click on one of those objects. You can go to selection and learn about that object. So I'm just showing you a couple things here that just uh, will make some sense here. And then I can center to it and pinch. This is the advantage of having that option set to display 
the objects on the observing list because I can click, center, and quickly navigate. So that's a nice summary. In the next lesson, we'll take this a bit more detail, and I'll show you how you can start creating log entries and, and tracking your observations. Thanks for watching.